Hey what's up guys you're hanging with Hardy Tech and today I got a very simple and quick tutorial for you guys on how to add texture to your Cinema 4D tech. This is very easy but will make some very incredible designs and graphics that you guys will really enjoy. It's pretty much what you see on the screen right now. It looks very good and it's so so simple to do. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is click on file and open and everything I use in this you can download in the description completely free. So open up the template I have down in the description and uh, you'll get something that looks like this. The first thing you want to do is click on the change this text and just hit delete to get rid of that. As simple as that. And now we're going to have to bring in our text so click on MoGraph and go to Mo Text. Now you'll have this. So what you want to do is change the text to whatever you want it to say. I'm just going to do tutorial for the sake of this. Nice and simple. And of course change the font to whatever you want. I'm going to use a font called Zar. I like how it looks. You should be able to find it on the font. I might include a download link for it if I could find it on the font. And uh, if it's too big just shrink it to fit in the screen uh, like that. And finally click on the mode text and go to caps and click fillet cap and fillet cap on the start and end. And while we're at it, go back to object and just put the depth up to around 80 or so, just to uh, make it look a little more 3D. And now if you render it out at this point, you'll pretty much just have gray text that really doesn't look that good. And uh, you can see the color right there, so I'm just going to stop it because that's going to take a while to render. And uh, hopefully my computer doesn't crash on me well. So now we got to make the texture. What you want to do is go to your materials box and just find an empty space and double click to create a new material and uh, go back up to the top and double click on that on that new material sorry about that guys and uh, make sure the color tab is selected and where you see texture here go over to where these three dots are click that and you can pick whatever kind of text you want I'm gonna be using this one called grunge wall you can download it in the description so you guys can use this as well and just double click it and then click yes when this box pops up and that's all we have to do here so just exit out of that and uh, now just drag your new material onto the text and if we render it out at this point just wait you'll see that the uh, the front of the text does not have any texture on it but the side of the text does so we gotta fix that and uh, how you're gonna fix that is click on the texture next to the mode text here just click that little uh, circle and under tag you'll see projection should be set to UVM mapping just click on that and switch it switch it to sparsal and now you'll see the texture will be on the front of the text and when we render it out you'll see that you can see the texture there it looks really nice uh, depending on what texture and what font you use of course you'll yield different results but it should look something like this and uh, sadly when you're doing this you, I don't believe you can change the color of it in Cinema 4D but that's fine because I'm going to show you guys how to change the color in Photoshop so once you once you get done rendering it out bring it into Photoshop and it'll look something like this with uh, no background or anything and all you have to do is to change the color is right click on the layer click blending options and click color overlay and you'll see that 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 just looks horrible but this is very simple just in blend mode switch it to overlay and now you will see that the it, color is just on the text it still keeps all its depth and everything and you can change the color to whatever you want it to look like and it still looks really good so that's how you can change the color of the text in Photoshop without it looking really horrible and it's that simple alright guys if this tutorial helped you definitely tell me down in the description and tell me what else you want me to do because I'm having trouble thinking of unique tutorials on what to do thank you for watching buddy if you enjoyed it please hit that like button I'm Hardy Tech Yo-Yo thanks for watching everybody